Right now, Fan Control is probably the best software to control the cooling in your PC. Let's take a quick look how to set it up. First thing that we need to do is teach Fan Control about which fans are connected to which sensors. The way that we do this is that we launch Assisted Setup from the top left. First thing Assisted Setup is going to take you through are the sensor settings. Defaults will be fine for now. We're going to toggle off AMD since we have an NVIDIA card and enable 0% override to allow the fans to rest at 0% on NVIDIA cards. So when we press OK here, it's going to take you through the automated calibration and pairing. Speed of this section up just to save time. Fan control is then going to show you which fans is detected and which sensors they're connected to. The objective now is to label them by identifying the fans, go through them one at a time, speed them up so you can see them actually moving in your case. The final stage is then to find the maximum speed of each fan at a noise tolerance level that you're okay with during normal use. This will form the basis for the flat graphs we'll create later. For the settings again, for now, just accept the defaults. Final step is then to just hide the hidden cards and the calibrated labels. It is possible to reorder the cards just by dragging the three dots. This is purely just down to preference. I know from experience that the pump and the AIO that I have works best if you just leave it at 70%, so we don't have this set to any kind of graph, it's just manually set and left alone. We then create our first graph. This one is going to be for the chipset. So we label it chipset, choose the appropriate temperature sensor, and then edit the graph. I'm going to change the response time to 3 seconds so it doesn't react too quickly to temperature changes. We set the max temperature to 90, and then we start building the curve. So the first one is 20 degrees. Where do we want it at 20 degrees? Remembering what the tolerance level was for this fan, we set it to 50% to build quite flat lines for these until we get to a certain temperature so in this case 60 degrees so we leave it at 50 percent right up until 60 degrees and then we click on the third and final point the 80 degree mark which is where it will allow it to ramp up to 100 percent we then assign the curve to the chipset and we rinse and repeat for the other areas so the next one we're going to build is the gpu curve so create a new graph, call it GPU, choose the GPU temperature sensor, go into edit. We'll set the temperature step, three seconds again, and we're going to set the maximum temperature for the graph to 90. Again, start with 20 degrees. This time we're going to set it to zero. This is where we take advantage of the NVIDIA's 0% fan parking. We'll let it stay at 0%, all the way up to 49 degrees, create an additional point at 50 degrees, then brings it up to the comfortable noise threshold, which in this case was 50%. We'll let it stay at 50%, right up to 70 degrees, and then we'll allow it to climb up to 100% once it gets towards 80. And go to each of your GPU fans, and set them to the GPU curve that we've just created. The RM fan on this AIO isn't particularly effective, if I'm honest. So we're just gonna set that to 40%, which is where we were on the comfort scale when we measured earlier. Okay, so the next stage is a little more complex. We're gonna create the curves to control the case intake and exhausts. So we're going to base one on the GPU first. Make sure you choose the right temperature sensor into the graph properties. Case fans, we want to react a lot slower. So five seconds, three degrees. We set the maximum to the graph to 90 again. We start from the 20% mark, and we know that because the case fans are 140 mil, we can tolerate them at 80%. So that becomes the basis for the flat line. We put the end of the flat line in at 60 degrees. 
and then we create another 80 degree climb up to 100. Now we're going to use these same graph settings but on a different temperature sensor. So before you click OK, click copy graph, save a little bit of time and then we'll create the CPU equivalent. So name this one CPU case. Choose the appropriate temperature sensor. And then go into the graph properties. We can paste the graph in, which brings everything apart from the steps. Set the steps to three degrees and five seconds. Click OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a combination of the CPU and the GPU case curves we just created to influence the case fans. The way we do that is we create a mix. Call the mix something like case, set it to average, and then add the two case curves that we just created. This will then take an average of both of them and feed it in to the fan speed for both your intakes and your exhaust. So now everything's in place, it's time to test. We're going to use Fermark to push the GPU up to 100%. I'm going to use Prime95 to do the same to the CPU. As the temperatures increase, the curves kick into action and the fans start to come alive. What I would say is a lot of this needs experimentation. Be very careful setting your fan curves too low, but let me know how you get on in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.